much better. Let me just tell you the annoying thing about my hair. To keep these pieces from actually turning like yellow, they turn yellow so fast, I have to purple shampoo them. But in the shower, I can't purple shampoo the dark hair because then the dark hair will turn light. So I literally have to get out of the shower, separate my hair, just like this, put the purple shampoo just in these strands, let the strands sit, and it's honestly stressful. Just kidding, it's not the end of the world, I can do it. This is what we're working with. Happy Vlogmas Day 11, and welcome back to another epi. Let's get ready! Woohoo! Super annoying. I've had this zit here for probably a week now, but I put makeup on every day to try to cover it up. It's like under the skin, and it will not come up. It's so annoying, and then I kind of got like an identical one on this side. Super fun. So, I'm like, should I put makeup on again? I feel like I should. Goodbye. Oh, it's like not covering up. What I want for Christmas is my acne to go away. <gasps> no, no, no. Well, so this just happened. Why? Why would you do that? Me just leaving it on me and continuing to do my makeup. I just found out my hair is purple. Do you see that? Also, do you see how broken it is on the end? Yeah, we love that. It's okay, I knew it was coming with this hairstyle. Do you see like the purple on the ends? <laughs> kinda dope, kinda cool. Now we're gonna wrap some gifts, but I hid them all under my bed. There's one, there's another, and there's another. If you are my sister or my boyfriend, click off right now or skip ahead. I swear to God, if you watch this, I'll be so triggered. But I really want to show you guys what I got them, but you guys, you can't tell them when I got them, okay? I'm sure you won't. I know you're loyal, but I'm just putting it out there. Please don't tell them. This one is by far my favorite. I actually want it for myself. I don't know if I'd ever wear it that often, but you'll see why. It's from, I want to find the Instagram so you guys can, it's another small business that you guys should support. Jewelry by Serendipity, that's what it is. My sister is obsessed with crystals, as am I, so I got her a crystal ring. It's a honker, it's an amethyst, it's literally so big, it's so beautiful though, like, I know she's gonna love it, she loves like big crystals on her fingers. <laughs> How adorable! Now this is a present for Ronnie, I just got him a bunch of rings, like there's literally probably 20 different rings in here. But they're from a really cheap website because if I'm being honest, it's so hard finding rings for guys and I was going to order some Tristan rings, but then he was sending them to me. So I'm like, I might as well just not buy them. So I was like, oh, let's just like get him some cheap rings and hopefully he'll like them. Like we've tried Pandora. Those are all too girly. Like there's, and then if you get like a nice ring, it looks like an engagement ring. And I'm like, hmm, not ready for that. Kinda cute! He, I don't think he'll suspect what that is at all because the wrapping is so weird. Now this, I haven't opened it because I know exactly what it is. It's a book! I got a book! So, the story behind this one. Oh no! I just ran out of wrapping paper. Will we be able to make it work? Let's find out. It's a book about opening up to spirituality and opening up to your higher self and learning how to get guides from your higher self. And we've talked about this before. I actually have the same book. It's the book I got in Sedona, if you guys remember that vlog. I got that book. We both never read. We both low-key want to read. So I'm like, we can read this book together because... I've literally read 20 pages of that book. I love the book, but I just can never find myself to read it. So I'm like, if we could read it together and reflect back on it together, that would be awesome. All right, this is what we're working with. The back, you guys, like the sides. Yeesh. The first couple presents underneath the Christmas tree. We have a couple errands to run, but I do want to say, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. So many of you guys watch my videos and aren't subscribed. Literally almost half. It's crazy. So please subscribe if you like me. I mean, if you really don't like me, you just watch my videos to hate on me. So be it. But if you do like me, please subscribe. I also never say this. Watch my ads all the way through if you love me. It helps out. Thank you. I love you. Mwah. Ronnie just got on his flight. Woohoo! He's a connecting flight, so it'll honestly probably be a while. He gets back at five. Before we do that, I want to go to Lush and Sephora because one, Sephora, I have ran out of concealer 
and I've been scraping the edges, so I'm like, mm, let's ball out, let's get another one. <laughs> I haven't gone to Lush since, um, what was it, junior year? Yeah, it was junior year high school, and I didn't even go to Lush. I got, I got asked to prom with a bunch of bath bombs and like bubble bars, because he was like, it'd be bomb if I got a prom with you, and he gave me all those things, which is like amazing, but I literally have just used the last one like two nights ago, and I was like, I miss this. I wanna go to Lush and get a couple more. <coughs> That was so dramatic for no reason. <laughs> I also have a fun Starbucks drink to try that you guys said you wanted to have me try. Hi, could I get a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew with um, caramel drizzle? So I guess we'll see how this is gonna taste. Literally, just about everyone recommended that drink to me, so. These glasses just make me look like such a baddie. It's amazing. So you guys know when you turn 18, you get a new license. August, I went to go apply for my new license and it is currently the middle of December and I still haven't gotten it yet. Who else thinks I should be worried? I just got everything figured out and I found out why I haven't gotten it. It's because I changed my address to the Tucson address while the address on my license still said the Minnesota address. So they literally kept it and they were like, we're not giving it to you unless you change your address to Minnesota. So I'm like, ugh. So I've changed my address to Minnesota. And then once I do that, then they'll send it to Minnesota. And then my mom will send it to me. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but that's what I've been dealing with this morning. I've been calling places. I've been doing stuff, but I've been looking like a baddie with these glasses on. I should wear these more often. Also, another thing I've been dealing with this morning is my water. Here I just have like a water filter thing and literally every month the filter gets messed up and this morning my water tasted sour. It tasted like I put 20 lemons in it. It was so sour, but I kept drinking it because I was too lazy to take the old filter out and put a new one in. So I kept drinking it and then I finally changed it because it's just so annoying. Why do I, I just, whenever the camera's on, I just want to talk. I just want to talk your guys' ear off. How do you like it? Bum, bum, ba -da 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 -da. Question for you guys. Have you heard of the winter solstice? Have you heard of the conspiracy theory on December 21st? Yeah, apparently some bad shit's gonna happen on the 21st and things are gonna change completely. I don't know, I just heard this guy on TikTok talk about it, then I heard this other girl on TikTok talk about it. I've heard like so many people on TikTok talk about the 21st of December, something terrible's gonna happen. I heard one person say that the sun's gonna go out for three days and it's gonna reset everything. And then I heard another person say, no, nothing's bad's gonna happen, you're just gonna feel an energy shift and I just don't know what's gonna happen. My question is, have you guys heard about this? What are your thoughts on this? I know I'm on spiritual TikTok and I don't know if you guys are, but I'm just saying. Or not. Like, remember in 2012 when everyone thought the world was gonna end? I literally remember this so vividly. Me and my family literally, like, <laughs> I remember at a specific time the world was supposed to end. I dead ass had one of my Smurfs in my arm and then I was holding all my family's hands and we were like pray, closing our eyes, praying to God that this shit wasn't gonna happen. Nothing happened. We looked like idiots. I wish I had like a security camera watching us. That would have been so funny. I love your Jeep, by the way. Thank you. I love this other Can I get my receipt? Ew, it tastes like water. I literally taste like I'm tastes like I'm drinking coffee bean water. I mean essentially that is what coffee is, but maybe I need to let it like mix in the caramel or something. I mean I'm definitely gonna drink it all, but woohoo, we're going to the mall. I love going to this mall because it's so bougie and it's like an outdoor mall. It's so overwhelming in here. Oh my god, that thing is huge. What? Got the goods. We have some spicy lighting going on. I'm gonna do a really quick haul. My main goal is to get bubble bars. So I got the cute peach one. Then I got this one. It's like a lavender one. Apparently relaxes you. I try to stay away from the glittery ones because those ones are just too much in the bathtub. Glitter in the wrong places. Then I've never tried their shower gel ever, so I wanna try this one. It's the American Cream. It's strawberries, orange juice, like Rama Llama Ding Dong. That's what it says. Lush is an amazing place, but I hate going there because it's so damn expensive. Went to Sephora. Got some two lip liners because recently I've been into the lip liner and then lip gloss on top look. They didn't have shape tape, so I just got the Fenty Beauty one. Hopefully this will match my skin. I also went to Typo looking for like a gift for someone else, but then I just got a pencil sharpener for my lip liners because I once they're like dull, they're dull because I don't have a pencil sharpener. So finally, 
I can sharpen them. But going to the mall by myself is so scary because so many people look at you like they want to take you. Guys, look what came in the mail. The Uggs. If you follow me on Instagram, I put like two weeks ago that I was like, damn, I wish Uggs would come back in style. Like, I just want to wear them. And then so many of you guys were like, um, I still wear Uggs. They're still cool. So many people wear Uggs. Oh my God, wear Uggs. Like, come on at me. Some of them were even kind of rude. And then I was like, okay. So it's time to buy them. Woohoo. These are freaking awesome. Look who's back. Hello. I decided to come home. <laughs> you have an exciting package waiting for you. Uh, where? Now we're going to get your reaction to this. These pens. Yeah. I literally thought it was like a needle, like an actual needle. Oh my gosh. So I was good. like, I was like, why would he give me that? I'm promoting drugs, Tristan. <laughs> Dude, how did he do this? He sent right? this to he sent this to so many Probably over a hundred people. Yeah. Imagine like how much money this all was. That's what I'm saying. Oh my god, how lit! <gasps> Ronnie! This yeah, these are so dope. cool! Yeah. Does it fit? Which one does it fit? Oh <gasps> it fits nice. Huh? Say thank you. Yeah, thank you, dude. That's it's really cool. <laughs> they're leaking. Your cookies. I put them in the microwave and they're literally leaking something. But this is his first time trying them. They're good. Do you like? Mm hmm. Has your mom made these? Yeah, they're so bomb. Yeah, they're really good. So, Ronnie, tell us something interesting from your trip. Oh, it's not that interesting. Right when we got there the first day, like I haven't worn these skis for a bit and I go to click in and the binding like falls off. <laughs> like That's so funny, dude. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was an amazing story. I hope you guys... I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. You're not putting that in. <laughs> I am though. I am though. And then I could ski. <gasps> oh my god, look at my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Maya decides to wear deodorant for the first time in her life and just leaves it all on my shirt, apparently. That's kind of disgusting. Okay, I'll see you guys <laughs> in tomorrow's vlog!